workshop I'm looking at the lamp on the milling machine this is the lamp I've taken off and this part bolts to the milling machine head and then you bend this part round so the light shines on the work you're doing and what I find with this is having to bend this right round what happens it eventually ends up going back down and pointing at the table so what I want to do today is replace the flexible part but keep the two ends with a mechanical joint which will do the same thing but more effectively. So let's go into the workshop and see how we do it. Look all this is in here is a flexible cable protector. Do away with the flexible part. and make a smaller unit that goes between the base and the bulb holder so I can move it and be kept in the same position.
these are the four blanks we've got female one thread in the end ball on the end male one that will have a thread cut on it and fit inside there and then we've got two smaller ones that will have threads put on the end these go inside this and also inside that it needs some flats put in on the thread because it has flats in the hole same as that one it has two flats on the side of the hole so once I put the flats on the thread that will fit in there take the part with the plane shaft 10 millimeter diameter and use a die in the head in the stock here 10 millimeter die to cut the thread and because of the spherical on the end I'm pushing it right in behind the jaws and bring it forward and I am about five millimeters in past the jaws so I can cut the thread on this it's a 10 millimeter die this one's 10 by 1.5 that's held in the stock with a handle that slides onto this bar which is held into the tail stock and this bar has a hole in the end so the the thread the die can go right over there and the part can go inside that will go right inside so I can go the length of the that slides on there so you've got about 25 30 mil movement on there and then if you have a longer bar it will go inside bring this up lock the tail stock I've got my expanding mandrel in the back with the handle on here turn it round start to produce the thread give it some oil to help help the dye the thread. Now I just need to hold this in the vise and thread the last three turns because I can't go any closer than the front of the chuck. Now this one will fit in the centre of that one. So I just need to finish the thread off to the face and that those two should lock together. Okay, I've just held it in the vise with some lead jaw protectors. should fit on so one of the jobs I need to do is make a little locking ring on here so when you adjust these you can lock the thread well that's it for today I hope you enjoyed it we'll continue this in the next video Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on Enots Engineering.